MetaQuest 3 is bringing incredible features that will revolutionize your experiences. But there is a question that we keep asking ourselves. What happens if the headset is broken? Before we answer this question, let's go over some of the new upgrades. The MetaQuest 3 may look similar to the Quest 2 from the outside, but there's something really different going on inside. The special lenses that help you see things are now much skinnier, by 40%, and that's pretty impressive. They've also added three cameras and a special projector on the front, so it can show you colorful videos from the real world. There's a new wheel to adjust the distance between the lenses, which helps people see better. You can change it from 53 millimeters to 75 millimeters. The headset also has glasses and adjustments for how far away things are, so you don't need to put extra things in for your glasses, like with the Quest 2. The Quest 3 speakers are like music superstars. They can turn up the volume by 40%, and the cool part is, they make the sound feel like it's dancing all around you, just like 3D music. It's like having a mini concert in your ears. The bass and clarity are also improved. If you want, you can plug your own headphones into the dedicated audio jack in the Quest 3 even better sound. But there's a problem with all these changes in the design. It's going to be hard to fix things if they break. In a careful look inside the Quest 3, iFixit found that it's not easy to repair. They gave it a low score of 4 out of 10 for repairability. This is because it's tough to get to the inside parts, and it's also hard to find replacement parts if something goes wrong. There is one big update to the Quest 3, which I think will change the game for us. But before it, something I think you would like is the updated Quest 3 controllers. They're made to fit your hands perfectly, like they were custom made just for you. Plus, they've got a cool feature called True Touch Haptics, which makes them feel super real. It's like having a blast in a video game world, and it's going to be loads of fun. But the controllers use disposable AA batteries, which is not very convenient. That means that if you want a better experience, you'll have to buy a charging dock for $129. It charges the headset wirelessly using special pads on the bottom, and it has rechargeable batteries for the controllers. Now you have to decide how much storage you need because the Quest 3 has two storage options, 128 gigabytes and 512 gigabytes. It would have been nice to have a 256 gigabytes option, but at least there's a choice for people who need a lot of space. What's more important is that the Quest 3 has a new and better chip inside it. It uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2, which is more powerful than what's in the Quest 2. It also has more RAM, 8 gigabytes instead of 6 gigabytes, though it's still less than what the MetaQuest Pro has, 12 gigabytes. So, the big update, remember? The Quest 3 brings an amazing screen upgrade. They call it the 4K Plus Infinite Display, and it's like a window to another world. With special tech, it makes the images incredibly sharp. What's even cooler is that it packs more pixels than the Quest 2, making your virtual reality experience look unbelievably lifelike and sharp. Here's where things get interesting. When you put on the Quest 3 and look at the real world on the screen, you might notice that it's not as crystal clear as the virtual reality world inside. It's a bit like watching TV with slightly less detail. You see, it has 18 pixels per degree instead of the 25 pixels per degree you get in virtual reality. But it's still a big leap ahead of what Quest 2 can do. In fact, it's got more than 10 times as many pixels, and it's three times better than what the Quest Pro offers. So even though it's not as sharp as VR, it's still a big win in the world of mixed reality. The Quest 3 is like a speed demon. It can show you pictures super fast at 90 hertz. And if you're feeling really adventurous, there's an experimental mode that cranks it up even faster to 120 hertz. And guess what? In the future, it might even go up to a super impressive 144 hertz. But for now, it's riding comfortably at 120 hertz. But now, for the not-so-great news. The Quest 3 didn't improve much in the battery department. It's got the same battery life as the Quest 2. It usually lasts about 2.2 hours, but if you're binging on videos, it can stretch to 2.9 hours. When it runs out of power, it takes roughly two hours to charge it back up to full using the included charger, which is quite similar to the Quest 2. So while it's super fast, the battery life hasn't changed much. The most important thing about the Quest 3 is that it can do both virtual reality and augmented reality. You can switch between them by simply tapping the side of the headset. You can use holographic things in your real world with AR, or dive into awesome games and watch stuff in VR, and it gets even better. The Quest 3 can play all the games and stuff that you can get for the Quest 2. There are more than 100 new apps, and improved versions of Quest 2 apps are coming to Quest 3 by the end of the year. So, you'll have a ton of exciting things to do and explore with the Quest 3. The Quest 3 can also connect to Windows PCs and play VR games from there, just like the Quest 2. You can do this with Quest Link and Air Link, and it opens up a world of amazing VR games. Plus, it can also use MetaQuest Plus a service where you pay $7.99 each month and you get two hand-picked VR games to play. It's like having a treasure trove of fun right at your fingertips. One big improvement is that the Quest 3 has six smart cameras. 
These cameras are like little detectives. They can look around your room all on their own and make a safe area for you to play in. You don't need to do a thing. They even know where your walls, floors, and furniture are, making your mixed reality adventure super safe and exciting. It's like having your very own room guide to make your experience awesome. But the surprises don't end there. The Quest 3 has a cool feature called Direct Touch Hand Tracking. It's like magic fingers that follow your hand movements. You can use your hands to do things in the virtual world, which is really fun. The good news is that you can buy the MetaQuest 3 right now. If you pick the 128GB model, you'll get the game Asgard's Wrath 2 inches for free. But if you pick the bigger 512GB model, you not only get the game, but also a 6-month subscription to MetaQuest Plus. Just remember, this amazing offer ends on January 27th, 2024. To get your Quest 3, visit the Meta Store, available in 23 different countries or special stores. If you're in the United States, you can order it from Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart. And for our friends in the UK, you can grab one from Amazon, Curry's, or Argos. In the United States, the 128 gigabytes model starts at $499, which is a bit more expensive than the Quest 2's $299. If you want more storage with the 512 gigabytes model, that's available for $649. Across the pond in the United Kingdom, the 128 gigabytes version is pound 479, while the larger 512 gigabytes model is pound 619. Over in the European Union, it's 549 euros for the 128 gigabytes option and 699 euros for the bigger 512 GB model. And for our friends down under in Australia, the 128 gigabytes base model comes in at AU dollar 799. So, if you're thinking about buying the MetaQuest 3, we suggest watching this helpful video. It will help you decide if the MetaQuest 3 is the right VR choice for you.